from a plaintiff and a parent. Sarah Gibson says she wants parents to have a choice when it comes to sending kids to school in person this year. She's worried about the virus spreading in the classroom. The safety measures are below anything else you would see in any other indoor public setting in the province. She was in court today, part of a lawsuit with other parents trying to get Quebec to offer remote learning to everyone, not just those with specific medical conditions. Today, they asked that parents be allowed to keep their kids home with access to online classes while the case is heard. We should have the right in this, especially this situation, we're, we're, we're in very uncertain times. I think there's a lot of uneasiness. Their lawyer says in a pandemic, families should have the authority to choose. The question is, when there is a risk to life, liberty and security of the person, because normally there isn't, who is to decide? But lawyers for the province argued school attendance is mandatory under the Education Act and that the back-to-school plan is in the interests of children and families. Some provinces, like Ontario, are offering remote learning for all, while some parents elsewhere, like B.C. and Manitoba, are pushing for it. But Quebec Premier François Legault says given the province's shortage of teachers, it just isn't feasible. We cannot at the same time have teachers teaching in classrooms and the same teachers teaching for the parents uh, of the, the children who decided to stay at home. So we cannot do both and our choice is really to uh, have the children in classrooms. Quebec schools started reopening a week ago, and already there are some cases of COVID-19 and students isolating at home. The education minister says the province is working hard to keep schools safe. Education is a top priority, and the best place for the students is to be in school. The judge told the court he's mindful of the urgency of this case and said the plaintiffs can expect a decision on their request by early next week. Alison Northcott, CBC News, Montreal.